Shalom and welcome to Jewels of Judaism. This week's Torah portion is called Be'etze and it's found in Genesis chapters 28 to 32. The majority of this week's Torah portion focuses on the life of Jacob. Jacob left his mother and father in Beersheba in order to find a wife in Haran and he returned 20 years later with four wives and 11 sons. Now during those 20 years in Haran, Jacob worked as a shepherd. And we know that he was a very successful shepherd. And this is evidenced by, during the first 14 years in Haran, um, Jacob worked for his father-in-law as a shepherd, and his father-in-law prospered greatly. And then, during, and then in the last six years, Jacob continued to work for his father-in-law, but also had his own flocks, and Jacob himself became a very wealthy man. Jacob was a successful shepherd. He was a good shepherd. The life of a shepherd is very demanding. It demands constant care, guidance, and protection of the flocks. It demands 100% dedication from the shepherd in order to maintain a healthy flock. And Jacob proved himself to be a good shepherd. Now, I believe that God allowed Jacob to be a shepherd, not only to gain wealth, but also to train him to be a good shepherd to his own sons, the 12 tribes of Israel. In the New Testament, we read about Yeshua being called a shepherd. In John chapter 10, verse 11, we read Yeshua's own words. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A shepherd sacrifices everything for the sake of his sheep. And Yeshua illustrated that with his life. Later on in Yeshua's life, before he ascended to the Father, he met with some of his disciples on the beach by the Sea of Galilee. And Yeshua had a dialogue with Peter about shepherding. We read this in John chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. So when they had finished breakfast, Yeshua said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Shepherd my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Yeshua said to him, Tend my sheep. Now three times in this dialogue, Yeshua asked Peter, do you love me? Three times Peter said yes, and three times Yeshua instructed Peter to tend or shepherd his sheep. Now Yeshua knew that Peter loved him. And I believe that he wanted to instruct him to shepherd his sheep as a way to channel that love in the proper context. By shepherding the followers of Yeshua, Peter would have to fully dedicate himself to caring for and spiritually feeding the followers of Yeshua. And in that way, Peter would express his love for Yeshua. Spiritual shepherding is a way to manifest our love for God. Do you love God? Do you love Yeshua? If you answer yes to these questions, then you must be shepherding other people. You must be involved with spiritual shepherding. Now, a lot of us look at the pastor of a congregation as a shepherd, and that is correct, and we should honor the, the shepherds of, of congregations and, and respect them, but we must remember that we are all called to shepherd the flock. We, are all, we all have a responsibility in discipling others, in spiritual shepherding. Whether you're a parent or a single, it doesn't matter. Whether maybe as a parent, it's your own children. We all have opportunity to invest spiritually in the lives of others. But we need to be active in shepherding and dedicating ourselves to shepherding others. Are you shepherding others in your life? We need to be involved with spiritual shepherding. I want to thank you for watching this brief overview of this week's Torah portion. I want to invite you to read my full commentary on my website jewelsofjudaism.com under the title, The Faithful Shepherd. Thank you for watching and Shabbat Shalom.